Hey, welcome to day 35 of 40 days of personal revival. I'm going to keep this short today because today's Sunday. You get to hear me preach later on, right? So uh, Acts chapter uh, 23, um, we, we see, you know, we see more persecution happening. And that is just so much the theme of this second half of the books of Acts. Just so much persecution. And God keeps showing himself awesome in the midst of it. And we see uh, a Paul uh, just has to be asking God, what's happening? What's going on? Where, where are we going with this? What, 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 what's, are you with me? Right? Have you ever been there? Are you with me? Acts chapter 23, verse 11 says, But on the night immediately following, the Lord stood at Paul's side and said, Take courage, for as you have solemnly witnessed to my cause at Jerusalem, so you must witness at Rome also. Paul was, you know, a persecutor of the church, and he was arrested. And through his arrest, he was able to witness to the highest levels in Jerusalem. And God said, man, you did so well with that. I want you to do it in Rome also. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want you to be worried. And as we continue to go through the book of Acts here, we see why he needed that word to take courage. Take courage. You're going to Rome. If God says you take courage, this is going to happen. You got to know that in between here and there, you're going to need some courage, right? But God is faithful. And in the midst of the trials... In the midst of the trials, we need to hear Jesus. Paul didn't just go marching, doing his own thing like he did before salvation. He needed to hear Jesus, and Jesus spoke. As you head to church today, if you're going through something, if, if, if God has placed something on your heart, if there's a trial that you're in the midst of, determine in your heart today at church, either in worship or in the message, Lord Jesus, I need to hear your voice. I was in a season where uh, uh, I, I had heard so much conflicting uh, messages that I told the Lord, I don't want any, I don't, I'm not even looking for a prophetic word anymore. I just need you to speak to me through a scripture. I need scripture. Just highlight a scripture to me that I can hold on to and pray into my situation. If you're at a place where your faith is a little battered, pray today, Lord, <laughs> speak to me through a scripture. Speak to me through a lyric and a song. Speak to me through a conversation at church. Something that I can hold on to. And God will be faithful. Amen? God bless you. I'll see you at church.